Hello everyone, today I'm gonna talk about spatial partitioning and what uh, it means to uh, use a grid as a spatial partitioning method to detect collisions. So, let's start with an example. In your, col in your game, if you have five entities and you want to check collision between all five of them at the same time, you have to uh, check every single entity against every other entity. So it's like this, 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 and so on. This kind of uh, collision detection takes a lot of time because uh, the number of uh, um, collision checks you have to make uh, is n, n to the power of 2. In this case it's 25 checks and uh, it's completely unnecessary. In fact, if the entities are uh, far away one from each other, you can simply create a grid where you store the entities. And in this case, you see that uh, you need to check collision only uh, between entities in the same cell. Uh, this kind of special partitioning method is very simple to implement, it has some drawbacks, but it's quite fast. In fact, you can see on my YouTube channel that I've managed to uh, uh, make uh, 10,000 bodies, uh, 10,000 moving bodies, uh, collide uh, one with each other with a grid at uh, 200 FPS. The grid special partitioning method works on a fixed array. So you have to uh, do something like this. You can create a 2D vector of a cell, which will be our uh, grid cell, and uh, you can uh, then add a certain number of rows or columns to the, to, the grid, to the grid. So in this case, we are going to make a simple example grid. What you want to do next is uh, create a simple class, a grid class, where you can get cell pointers. So in this case, uh, we can have a simple get cell x, y method, and by using coordinates, you can get uh, a pointer to the cell you desire. So in this case, we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2. So in this case, if you call get cell, uh, for example, 1, 1, you will get a pointer to this cell. On to adding bodies to our grid. Sometimes the bodies are of the right size. So if for example our grid size is 10 units and 10 units, it's very simple to add the small bodies in the grid because you, you simply get the position of the body and divide it by the cell size. So in this case that's gonna be 0, 0, and B is going to be 2, 1. You want to store this position, or better, the pointer to the cell the body is in, inside the body itself. So when the body moves and uh, goes from a cell to another, you're going to change an internal pointer to the body that stores the current cell. Now there is a problem with bodies that are bigger than a single cell. My solution is very simple. And basically, let's say our body takes up six cells, you just uh, do the same thing but for every single vertex. So you, you check the cell occupied by this vertex, the cell occupied by this vertex, this one and this one. And you are gonna run a, a, a loop from this uh, vertex to this vertex to add all the cells. So one, two, three, 
and then for these records, these records to add the other cells. And uh, uh, it's quite uh, easy to store this kind of information in a body class. where you have a vector of cell pointers, cells, for example. So, every time the body moves, you, you can check if uh, one of the vertexes has changed its, uh, its cell position. And if it did, you just clear this vector and uh, the repeat Therefore, the, the loop that allows you to uh, store the body cells inside the body itself. Now, the strength of this system is that when you want to uh, check collisions, you simply simply get uh, every single cell stored in the body in that vector I just showed you, and the check collisions between the body and the bodies uh, stored in those cells. So, if for example, you have a another body here, there will never be a collision check between this body and this other body. Uh, this, uh, this method allows you to get uh, a lot of entities and bodies without uh, slowing down your game. You can see an implementation of this method on my GitHub page uh, in the SSBS collision repository. And uh, in the implementation uh, you can also see how uh, simple queries such as ray casting or, uh, um, or range based queries can be used to quickly find bodies inside of the grid. It also uh, supports grouping so that uh, every body can, uh, can uh, have its own group and check against specific groups. Thank you for watching. If you have any, any question, you can post them in the comments and I will do my best uh, to reply.